the scene of some of the worst destruction. Vic. Tom and Mary, so much devastation. It doesn't get any easier to witness this, to see the pain, the suffering, the destruction. And today was especially terrible. You know, I was wrong earlier when I was in downtown Fort Myers and I said the damage was horrible. It's nothing compared to what we saw over the past few hours. The bridge still closed, access still shut off to the island of Fort Myers Beach. We got on because we were escorted by Miami Fire Rescue and the Miami mayor who is here, who invited us to see what is going on there. And I want to show you some of the images. We shot just hours of footage of the, the heartbreaking things. Honestly, as cliche as it is, the best way to describe it is it's like an atomic bomb went off. There are entire blocks flattened. We did not see one structure that was untouched. Uh, we did not see uh, anything that appeared to be livable for blocks. Firefighters from all over the southeast going back and forth. And yes, they are finding bodies. The crew that we were with found seven bodies today. Three right around there in front of us. And one was a body underneath some rubble in a home. And first responders told me that they think that this person was hiding out in a central bathroom. They thought that was the safest place. It wasn't. It wasn't. It ultimately cost them their life that they did not listen to those evacuation orders. But so many people said they thought that the storm was going somewhere else. They thought uh, that they were going to be okay. They've ridden out other hurricanes and tropical storms, and they were wrong. Take a listen. It's this feeling that you're going to die. And my advice to everybody, Get out, don't stay. It's ridiculous, don't follow my lead. Just get out. You'll be 10 times, a thousand times better. Yeah. Yeah. It's the only advice I can give the whole world. Something's coming, don't wait for it. My mistake is the worst that I've ever, you know, done. The water was up to my balcony here. And uh, it was just like you'd dive right off the balcony because there's just water everywhere and stuff floating on it. Uh, I'll never stay again, though. If they say evacuate, go. <laughs> yeah. Why did you decide to stay? We didn't think it was going to be that bad. We thought it was going to go further north, kind of like Charlie, you know, and uh, which I, I was here for Charlie. Uh, but this was worse than Charlie, a lot worse. We, we are a group of firefighters, doctors, engineers, uh, specialists in their field. And uh, this is their way of giving back to the community. This is their way of, of uh, you know, giving service to the community. And they're very passionate about what they do. And I know this group. They won't stop until they find uh, every last individual. You know, before I left the island, I had to stop and shake the hands of the first responders, the state, local, and, and federal people that are here, uh, literally pulling out survivors in critical condition, as well as finding bodies to, at the very least, um, give their loved ones some sort of closure. And it's just not easy for them either. And, and this was preventable. They, they say this was preventable. The, the people on that island, they had evacuation orders. Most of us, we feel safe in our homes, but they decided to leave anyways, uh, or to stay anyways. And, and certainly, uh, it, it cost some people their lives. As we were leaving the island, uh, they found someone, someone that was alive uh, for a couple days, and they were doing CPR on that person as we were leaving, as we were riding by. Hopefully that person makes it. Uh, but that just shows you uh, just a small snippet of the pain and the devastation here in Southwest Florida. Vic, so tragic. Uh, among all of us here in our newsroom, you really have covered a lot of storm damage in recent years. The aftermath of Dorian in the Bahamas, Michael in Mexico City, and Panama City. Can you draw any comparisons to what you're seeing from Ian? Mm -hmm. You know, when I got there, Tom, uh, when I got to the island, I said, this is just like Mexico Beach. This is just like Mexico Beach, which was the worst site that I had ever seen on American soil. And uh, a lot of the first responders, a lot of the search and rescue crews were, were there in Mexico Beach. They pulled out survivors, they pulled out bodies there. Uh, so you see the same people there, uh, the same heroes, and, and trust me, they are heroes. 
And uh, it also reminds me of, of the Bahamas. The Bahamas obviously doesn't have the same kind of infrastructure and it doesn't have the same uh, access to rescue crews. Uh, but just like in the Bahamas, in the Abacos, uh, there are just blocks where there is nothing. It is just flattened. You see the, the foundation. And uh, literally, if you were there in that area, there's no way you could survive. No way. Vic, we have people here who are in the medical field who a friend of mine who works at a hospital said that the, they've, they've been at, um, contacted to come down if they can and volunteer their time. Are they reaching out down there for other parts of the state and beyond? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they need help. And let me tell you, these firefighters, these first responders, the police officers, the National Guard, they're tired. They've all been going through this. They rode this storm out on Tuesday, not to mention the preps. And we have been here since Tuesday uh, in, in this area. So uh, we see just how tired they are. They don't have food. Uh, well, they don't have fresh food. Um, you know, they're, they're surviving off just whatever they can, and, and they're running on adrenaline. But eventually, eventually, these men and women, these brave men and women are going to need some backups. And uh, we did meet some nurses yesterday that came down from Jacksonville to work the shelters. Um, but you have just so many people, and this area has a lot of elderly people, a lot of people who have disabilities that just need that extra help. Where we stayed last night, uh, they were plugging into a generator to run their own oxygen. Uh, you know, it's hard to believe uh, that, that we're in Florida. Vic, thank you so much. Vic Michalucci reporting to us live from Fort Myers Beach.